From the classroom and into the studio and back to the classroom, this is ESL Today, broadcasting from Anne Arundel Community College in Arnold, Maryland. And now, from his studio in the basement of the Science Building, here's Kirk Palchewski. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another edition of ESL Today. I'm Kirk Palchewski, and this is ESL Today, episode 83. On today's program, we will enter into the working world. We'll cover that and much more right here today on this edition of ESL Today. All right, welcome back to the program, everyone. As I said during the intro, today's topic is the working world. But before we get into that, let's get a check on the weather. It's weather from around the nation, and our first stop today is Kinsley, Kansas, just outside of Dodge City, to the ranch of Kip Karcher. I believe Mr. Karcher is standing by right now. Do we have Kip? Hello, Kip. Howdy, Kirk. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Good, and you? Looks like a little overcast out there. Have you got a little rain on the ranch today? It's, uh, it's been a little uh, overcast. It was raining this morning, but it's cleared up now. We're expecting it to get up to about 69 degrees today. Not too hot. And then maybe a little more rain tomorrow. That's about it. So what are you up to this weekend on the ranch? Oh, this weekend? Well, i got a few things i got to do. I'm going to... I'm going to break a yearling, and then I'm going to go out and uh, to two of the fields. I'm going to plant corn in the fields, and that's about it. Hmm, doesn't sound like you're taking time off like that. What's that? No, it's just that you're always saying how busy you are. I don't see how you can afford to take a vacation. What do you mean? You just said you're going to take a year in the spring and then play a horn like a seal. No, man! I didn't say that! All right, well, what the heck did you say then? I'm not going to take a year off of vacation. I don't take vacations. I ain't gonna play no horn like a seal. What's the matter with you, boy? Ain't you taking them corn cobs out your ears yet? You know, I'm getting kind of tired of your condescension. Give it a rest, will you? I'm talking to you. You're not talking to me. Ain't nobody there but you. I'm talking to you and you only. Still a big talker on the ranch. Why don't you say it to my face? Anytime. Anytime. Come on. Well, obviously now is not the appropriate time. We have viewers here. Do your weather report, please. All right. Well, the weather forecast for tonight calls for a high of 69 degrees, 60% chance of rain expected. Tomorrow, about the same. This is Kip Carter saying so long, and I'll see you later. Wow. Okay, well, checking out the local weather now from Arnold, let's head out onto the campus of Anne Arundel Community College, where tonight we're expecting a high of 66 degrees and thunderstorms, chance of rain, 80% winds out of the southeast at 5 miles per hour. Then tomorrow, 82 degrees with a.m. clouds and p.m. sun, chance of rain, 20%, winds out of the east at 4 miles per hour. On Sunday, 84 degrees with thunderstorms, chance of rain, 100%. Southeast winds are at 12 miles per hour on Sunday. That's our weather forecast. Now let's go to our health segment. Hello, Dr. Discretion with you in studio. Did you know that a tree that bleeds when cut is called dragon's blood? Here is a picture. And did you know that a tree that cries when cut is called a weeping willow? It's Dr. Discretion saying live healthy, live happy, and live long. All right, thank you, Doctor. Well, as promised, today we are going to cover the working world, so without any further delay, let's go to the classroom. The Working World. Here are 10 tips for new grads entering the workforce. Listen more than you talk. Don't segregate with people in your age group. Don't become part of a workplace clique. Take mistakes seriously. Take notes. 
Number six, stay off social networking sites during the workday. Do what you say you are going to do. Pay attention to the culture. Be open to learning. Thank people who help you. All right, let's take a look at these tips individually, shall we? Number one, try listening to what your coworkers are saying. You might learn something. Number two, get to know the older workers too. Their experience and knowledge may help you further your career. Number three, a click can draw you into office gossip and conflicts between friends at work, which can be destructive and harmful to your career. Number four, when you make a mistake, own it. Take responsibility for your actions, figure out a solution, then fix it. Number five, take notes, especially when the boss gives you specific instructions for completing a task, assignment, or project. Don't try to remember without writing it down. You might forget. Six, the workplace is not for texting or checking Facebook. Conduct your personal business during lunch, breaks, or after work. Number seven, always stick by your word. This will give you credibility when you do what you say you're going to do. Number eight, observe acceptable workplace behavior and practices. This will give you an understanding of the working culture of that workplace. Be open to learning. You have just graduated and you want to put all of that knowledge to practice. Much, if not all, of what you have learned in the classroom is in the form of theory, most likely. Continuing with number nine, Work is going to give you something entirely different. Stay humble, keep an open mind, and realize that your first job is largely about learning. And number 10, thank people who help you. If the boss or a coworker takes the time to help you, give them a sincere thank you. People who are acknowledged and appreciated for their actions will most likely help you again. All right, well, before we close out today's program, don't forget to sign up for ESL classes this summer. Here are two of the teachers from our staff to tell you about the classes they will be teaching this summer at Anne Arundel Community College. Hi, I'm Jane Elkin. I teach English Basic Skills Level 3 at Glen Burnie Town Center. Four mornings a week, a total of 12 hours a week. If you really like a challenge, if you like to watch YouTube videos and sing songs and play with words, we do a lot of vocabulary and reading fun stuff. Uh, if you like a challenge and you really want to push yourself, please sign up for my class. Hi, my name is Sharon Street, and I'm teaching two online classes this summer that come up um, starting June 7th. So if you've ever thought about taking an online course, you might want to consider one of these. The first one is um, Advanced ESL Advanced Grammar, and also I'm teaching ESL Capstone Grammar. Online classes are really convenient because you don't have to drive anywhere, you don't have to worry about scheduling, you can do it from the comfort of your own home. Um, so give it a try. And that's our show for today. For all of us here at ESL Today, this is Kirk Palchewski saying thank you for joining me. And I look forward to seeing all of you again next time right here for the next edition of ESL Today. <laughs>